Our preference in all cases is to supply the world from the United States. That's been our mantra since day one. And most of our customers around the world, they value that in the brand. We've invested in international manufacturing over the last 20 years, really, uh, for the single reason that there are trade and tariff situations in certain markets that make it prohibitive, uh, prohibitive of us to be relevant in those markets without that investment. We're only doing that because these are important growth markets for the company that without those investments, we wouldn't have access to those customers at any kind of reasonable price. And that's an important part of growing the company and growing where the brand has tremendous appeal, but those prices that we would pay with all those tariffs are simply uh, untenable for customers in those areas. So there's a lot of talk, a lot of debate right now about the whole idea of fair and free trade, sure. but it doesn't sound like, at least from a motorcycle perspective, that's been the case. Yeah, and, and we, we are committed uh, to the idea of free and fair trade, and we have been dealing with these tariff situations for decades in many cases, as I mentioned. So we're, we continue to work with you know, our administration as well as other governments around the world around reducing these economic and, and frankly, in a lot of cases, non-economic trade barriers that make it difficult for us to compete. We still sell motorcycles in India that are shipped from the United States at full 100% duties, right? They're very expensive and we still sell them. Obviously, that duty elimination would allow us to sell many more and that is our prime path. And we're gonna continue to work on that path as we go forward.